Our powerful subscriber management system allows you to search, filter, and find all the subscribers you're looking for. You can then edit them, download them as a file, add them to a group, a segment, look at all the specific stats you need, and much more. Let's have a look. To manage your subscribers, from the dashboard, go to subscribers right over here. And here you see all your active subscribers. And you can also filter this area through unsubscribed, bounced, spam complaints, unconfirmed, or all subscribers. So you see I have 65 active subscribers, but if I click all subscribers, this will go up to 68. Then we have the search all subscribers input field right over here. So you can search for a subscriber. Just press this button here. There we go. And if you choose a subscriber, you'll be able to see all the details connected to that subscriber. You can edit the subscriber's details here, and you'll see the activity of the subscriber right over here. You can scroll up and have additional actions right over here, like print, export, JSON file, unsubscribe, forget, or delete. Now you can add notes here by pressing this button. Now let's go back to the subscribers area here. And let's look at the other things we have here, like the filters. Now, this is a very powerful filtering system. You can filter through emails, groups, fields, sign-up sources, locations, sign-up date, time zones, campaigns, automation workflows, time inactive, stats, and used subscribers. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use groups. Choose belongs to group engage students. And again, we have 65 now. We click this and we see 43. And we can add another filter. For example, let's go with fields. We can choose country and we can choose is set. So we see 43, but only three subscribers have a country set. And we can add more filters or we can add an or condition. That means the subscriber has all these conditions met or has other conditions met, like for example, the email is or equals or contains Mailer Light. And again, this changes, we see 41. Now, if we're doing this and at the same time there are new subscribers coming in, we can click refresh to see if this number changes here. We can also use this X to turn off specific filters, or we can clear everything by using this button. We can also save this as a segment to reuse later. I'm going to clear this for now. And let's look at the other things we have here, like actions. With actions, you can export a CSV file or CSV for Excel. Now, in this state, with no subscribers chosen, this will export everything you see here with all the columns you have here. Now, to see more columns, you can scroll to the right. And if you don't see the columns with the data you want to export, just go ahead and click toggle columns and select or deselect any columns you want to see in your database export. Or if you just want to look at it through here. Now you have country here and you have location. The difference is that the country is where the subscriber is from and the location is based on where the current subscriber currently is. So if he or she clicks uh, email in France, you will see France right over here. Now you can manually select the subscribers here by checking them, or you can select all subscribers that are visible. That means that are visible on this specific page. And if we click next, you'll see that the subscribers are not selected here, but you can also just select all subscribers. And then you will see that you have selected subscribers and the number is 65. Now, if you use actions, you'll see that you're now able to add these subscribers to another group, remove them from specific groups, move them to unsubscribe, or delete them all. Now, let's see what else we have up here. We have segments and groups, fields, and cleanup inactive. I have specific videos that are separate from this one where I go deeper into those areas. But let's look at stats right over here. These are the stats for all subscribers. You can also filter them through specific groups and segments. We see list growth, average click, open, subscribe, and unsubscribe rates are over here. Subscriber engagement, reading environment, top domains in your list, and top email clients. Now let's scroll up and let's look into history. And this is the history connected with the subscribers you have added, with the ones you have imported, and that is about it. 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.